This family and they were out in the water to take picture. Police said get out or it's a $500 fine. So be careful and just goes to show you how large the wind field is associated with Alberto, which is down in the southwestern Gulf, at least the center of it is. It also shows you that each tropical storm hurricane are completely different. This one associated with a massive wind field that again extends almost all the way to Panama City with some strong winds and high surf. The center of the storm is not actually where we find some of the strongest winds. It's actually fairly well removed. So this is not a well organized storm by any means. And with the fact that it will already be inland by tomorrow early morning before most of us are waking up, the storm wind field will immediately start to shrink and Alberto will go down as what is classified as a shorty, meaning it's a tropical storm or hurricane that lasts less than or 48 hours. So this one is not going to last for very long. I know I like the term shorty as well. Here's the rainfall that is moving inland across northern Mexico, Texas. We could see several inches of rainfall inland over Texas. For us, though, the main impacts are the winds and the coastal flooding concerns, which will still be ongoing into tomorrow. The winds offshore, at least from the buoys that we have reporting data, 24 mile an hour sustained, 25 mile an hour sustained, though have been gusting up to almost 40 miles an hour and again well removed from the center is where you find some of the strongest winds near the center. We do have a buoy that's only reporting sustained winds of 18 miles an hour. So this is not uh, really the classic tropical system with the winds near the center of the storm. We do have coastal flood warnings with a three to four highlighted above high tide for in the lake waters as what mainly for the North Shore and western part of the lake as well as for Hancock County parts of St. Tam Orleans Parish and St. Bernard elsewhere under the light green. That is a coastal flood advisory one to two feet. Again, it could be worse in Grand Isle, but right now that wind coming out of the east, so the water is actually kind of filling up in Barataria Bay and then flooding them. As far as the rainfall totals go, five plus inches into Texas, and I meant to recenter my map here, 10 to 20 inches of rain possible across some of the mountains of northern Mexico. That will cause some significant landfall or a, a landslide issues, mudslide issues as that heavy rainfall moves in them. Thankfully, as the wind field starts to sub, uh, subside, so will a lot of that rain, but it's going to continue into the day and actually they may get another surge of moisture as we could potentially see another developing tropical system. What's interesting, almost comical is the fact that it's going to stay in almost the exact same place moving inland as a ridge of high pressure will keep us dry and that is what the models are saying. Here's Alberto moving inland. We do have another little feature that is off the East Coast. Looks like that'll move inland, probably not develop into anything and then eventually kind of dissipate and then models indicating more development as we head into the weekend. But as I said, Upper High Ridge will keep that well down to our south. So not really concerned about what will likely form in the exact same location models at the moment. Not really aggressive with anything really coming to fruition in terms of a named storm. We had a lot more sunshine during